Yeah, we need to offset them by one tile, exactly. It's just not... It's not going to work like that. Everything has to be shifted. I think we can... I don't think of the path of least resistance here. If we take this row and shove it one to the right, shove that one to the right, that should give us the, the separation. Well, the middle ones are harder to shift because it either means messing about with these belts here or messing about with these belts here, whereas these, I could just move that power pole one and just move this over. We just need to give everything a nudge. This one isn't even lined up, bizarrely. Like that should do it. work, shouldn't it? Enough separation, I think. SDJs, welcome back, 59. So we just make that slightly longer. Right, let's try it out on this one. That grabs from there. So that's going to block its input, isn't it? That one, oh yeah, that one has to go. That one has to, that's got from there, that's going to get from there. So then I mean, that can get from here. Then it can get that one from there. Then it can get its final one from... Is that right? <laughs> I think that's right. <laughs> Yeah, what if, like, essentially for these, like, middle two, they have to, they can't collide effectively, and then the outer ones can grab from the most extreme. So if you, if you work on that basis, that the outside one grabs from the most extreme, then all you got to do... that, I guess. That definitely doesn't seem right. Yeah, I did the wrong way around. <laughs> They're both working now. He's like strangely too offset here. Oh my god, if we had a blueprint. <laughs> Do you know what? I think they're actually going to struggle with blueprints. Because you'll have a blueprint for, a, for um, a factory or like a whatever it is, like something like this. And you'll go to put it down and it won't go down. And it won't go down because if you're at the equator, it will work. But as you get towards the pole, it won't go down because you'll be squeezing things together to the point where they won't deploy anymore. Should still work though, shouldn't it? We can still, we can still make this one work.
Uh, they could use the shift technique like with the miners. But also make copying assemblers also copy their inserters. Mm -hmm. We'll have to see how they can how they solve it. I think it'll be a tricky one though. Yeah, it is Stan. And they're supposed to be doing that before the um before they take the Chinese holiday New Year thing. Eleventh of February, I think. So yeah, upgrades will be nice. <laughs> I think that's all of them working apart from these three. Um, output. It's so easy to like just misclick the wrong thing and not actually notice. Okay, I think they're all working. None of them have got the yellow symbol above them, so I think they're all doing the thing. Spence. They all look okay to me. Two, 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 two. No, you're, you're right. One of them doesn't. Okay. It is fiddly. It really is fiddly. Right, I've got to move all these anyway, so I don't know why I just did that. Because <sighs> I've never got to go like that. Mind your Robotech meets satisfactory. It's offset the row you just put outwards on, don't you? I did. I did. I did offset them. Oh, are you serious? No, wrong one.
probably get this wrong. Which ones of us screwed up that one? Was that a power problem? It's like a weird power problem. Your poor brain. What about me, Bri Brian? Never mind your brain. <laughs> it's like weaving, I don't know. Have you ever done weaving? You gotta go like underneath and over the top and like, oh. Oh my god. Anyway, I think it's done. Yikes. All that for fiber optic broadband. I think Virgin Media can keep it. It's not that it's really complex, it's just really fiddly. Like, the percentage chance of getting it wrong is pretty high. That deserves a save game. So, like, you spend 20 minutes or half an hour focused on one tiny part of your entire factory, and while you're doing this, something somewhere is probably broken. I think that deserves a drink of tea. Yeah, the sounds are work in progress. This game is alpha. There's things that don't even have sounds. Like the drones flying over, for example. Okay, we've got a thousand of those. Um... So now we can make the purple. Uh, once you have to switch purple blocks, there's an upgrade. So, yes, that's the one at the bottom of the tech tree. That's the first one I'm going to get. Check your fiber outputs in the center. Shared belt. I'm pretty sure one building is hooked to another instead of the belt. Okay. God game. It's our random box of stuffs.
Okay, we want to request. Let's demand that. Let's have a thousand on local. And we want to demand that. Thousand local. Purple blocks. I'll work out where to put our cash. So we'll put it here because. Wow. Why is that? Is the hitbox on the oil refinery just ridiculous or what? then. Stars, strictly speaking, we should probably do this. Shouldn't have put that there, should I? That's the only problem with, with like boxes when you put them down, they fell up, they're really hard to move. <laughs> Although actually given our inventory space, I could probably move that. I guess we want to come in on that side. Yeah, we're loading up on purple now. You may, uh, you may need another test of tower on the second purple factory. 
Wait, some more wrong gear. So if we now go to research upgrades. There we can activate that. For sixty percent hash per second research speed. Twenty six minutes. That's taken a long time. 1.2 million? Yeah. I think we might need to make them a bit quicker than this. Why is it flicking? I'm not sure. I think we're going to need more of these. Not exactly burning through stuff, is it? this may have to move. I can see us building more of these that way. I didn't really leave space to scale this. If I'd have actually put it here, it could have scaled that way. Try doing that. <laughs> it's probably a, a, a worthwhile investment. Right, that's slightly more scalable, I think. At least we can carry on that way. Uh, power was okay. I don't know if it still is. Yeah, it's still fine. It's not a power issue. Why are they not... Is it not getting stuff quick enough? Which is just going to take time to burn through. I can't make it higher. That's the limit of my tech. I'm thinking that we're not loading it quick enough, though. gradually filling it. Yeah, I think it's a it's a buffer problem. 
the problem is is the bottom one whatever time that takes to burn before it takes another one i think it's it's working its way up it's just going to take some time Got him in the out green belt. Are you serious? I don't know if I'll ever have a buffer of purple, but, you know. All right, at least this thing's actually moving now. Look. 20%. Ooh. We could probably... Um, could probably build that up as well. more power generation 100 and wait what that thing just broke the power grid well that looks that looks pretty sick look at that Used a lot of power. Yep. So it seems. Oh, this this is possibly why we have a power issue. We run out of hydrogen. Oh, you see, we're in a massive feedback loop now. Where the power reduction causes like less stuff to be made, less stuff to be burned, and therefore. Now let's come back online. Okay, I'm not sure we can quickly fix this. Started shipping and accumulating some solar belts on another planet yet? Nope. We have an abundance of energy on the other planet, but I'm not building accumulators. I wonder if we could just handcraft some uh, Deuteron fuel rods. I've got all the ingredients. Trouble is, I can't. Yeah. I think we can... I don't know how much energy they give. What does that one do?
cannot make in a replicator made in a particle collider. Wow. No, you can't do piracy on power, which is a bit annoying. I think we can make this 600 megajoules of energy. How much is the actual... Can you just throw that in a normal thermal thing? Or do you have to put it in that? Mini fusion, 9 megawatts. Jeez, we need a few of them. Yeah, we need the fusion reactor to go with it. We've got all the ingredients. We could handcraft this stuff. It might help a little bit. The other thing I could do is just put down a whole load of solar power. Since we seem to have a lot of them right now. Okay, right, let's grab some of them. Let's grab some of them. Tight any my laws down here, I think. Yes, we've done the other planet. We just need to ship all the stuff, all the power back now. I'm going to have to make that a priority instead. Where's the titanium my lord made? We've got titanium alloy being made, and I know we're putting it into the logistics somewhere. There it is. I can make eight of them. Uh, there's no tidal generation and there's no geothermal at the moment. There's wind, solar, and then burning things. That's weird. It's not actually showing me where the input line is. What the? Ah, the crazy curvature of the planet.
Take nine figures. I don't. I'm not sure it will align better. If we go that way. It's just, it's going to be fine until it gets to that, and then it's going to start going funny again because that heads towards the pole. Which is why I built it that way. That was my plan. It just wants to grab its side on, look. good anyway because we actually need to make these things assembler and three inputs okay how long does it take to make one six six, six seconds Three input lines and one output line, haven't we? Okay. God, this is this is the issue right here. Oh, it was better building east west. have four of them for now. I don't even think we can supply enough deuterium for very long. It's probably just going to eat this. like Frostpunk circular design from the poles. In theory, yes. In practice, probably not. Right, three input lines, one output line. That's what we're aiming for. Recipe will be that. So we need... these up and put them in there somehow. How do you put liquid back in the tank? <laughs> what magical key presses do you have to do? Yeah, you can put things on a belt. Like, you can click that and then bring this and then do that. 
So you put stuff on a belt, like that. But how do you put stuff on a tank? Just hold it down, it doesn't do anything. You have to put it on a belt and then belts into a tank. That's a bit frustrating. So if you want to put something in a tank, you have to build a belt, open that up, pick up all your stuff, and then hold it down like that. <laughs> like squirt it back in. There you go. <laughs> Just so we don't waste that precious deuterium. What is this one? It wants those, and I think it wants those, if I remember. Coming out one side. Coming out the other. Well, it's doing stuff. Nine megawatts. That's actually meeting demand for now. Actually making enough megawatts. I think we need to make accumulators. And then we need to exchange power because that's not going to last forever. I dare say that's going to go down fairly quickly. And it's not generated insanely quickly, is it? I would have thought that the oil production would have been kicking off properly now. I would expect to see these come back online. There's not enough megawatts. It's oh, don't talk to me about megawatts. It's Right, what do we need to do for accumulation stuff? Accumulation energy transfer.
We're going to need more interplanetary ships for a kickoff. So is the basic... How does this work? The energy exchanges. So they... I take it they consume accumulators and then charge them back up again. So you kind of send... You send empty ones in, then send full ones back out. And then you basically ship those between the planets. I take it that's how it works. Right. So we need to make some of them. I have no idea how many of those to make. But it charges... It takes 15 seconds to charge one. So we need them. We need... Um, more of these dudes. Dudes here. Logistic vessels. Interplanetary logistic vessels. Reinforced thruster. Titanium and electron magnetic turbines. Oh god, that's the things that we don't make enough of. Yay! have none of these in storage. Alright, they should back up and then because what's happening is the excess is being sent to here. The problem is we've got these plasma things and the green ones and the green ones are being taken by these to make the plasma ones. And we don't need so many of those so I've stopped, stopped storing them. That will make more. Improve research in the matrix. Right, is there anything that we should get while we've got purple? Solar sail life, possibly. Veins utilization. That sounds like something we should probably get. It makes the iron ore and stuff last longer, right? Plus two construction drones, not bothered about that. Mech movement speed. Let's get the mecha core. That sounds good. Universe exploration, I quite fancy having that. Like, we're struggling to build these here, and we've just got so many of them on the other planet. We just get them shipped over. You need a lot of supermotors. Which are the supermotors? These green ones? Or the, or the pink ones? I need to get these shipped back. We're just not making enough. The green ones. I think it might be better to just make the green motors. If we make the green motors on the other planet, because we, we can make that stuff. It's just iron and copper. Make the green motors and just ship them back here and get rid of this here and just import them directly. And also bring back accumulators. Deuterium runs, use the green ones. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need a lot of those. So I think we we bring green motors and accumulators back. That should be the immediate goal. Because we need to solve the power problem and the green motor problem. Otherwise we're not going anywhere. So to do that, we're going to have to build some more logistic vessels, interplanetary ones. So we need to make 
get grab some titanium alloy and some reinforced thrusters which means greens and titanium I need to nick all of the green stuff right now I might just fly over there and just get them made You have an active solar blinking run right at the bottom of the magnetic core production. An inactive solar. This one. It's just full. That's blinking because items are being put in and taken out. Mr. Jamer, thank you for a year. That's good, you can just insert them directly. Just your OCD. <laughs> than that. Oh. Snack time. The salter isn't connected to it. It's blinking because the magnetic comes in, so it gives it a symbol on the box, and then it gets taken out, and it removes the symbol on the box. That's literally why it's blinking. Not the split of the sorter insert. Wait, this one? Notice something. I've just noticed something. We can actually improve this. Oh, yeah. This machine is being slowed down because it can't insert onto that belt. Slightly better throughput. So I've got the inserter not connected to anything below the three mag assemblers. You mean that? Oh my god. Why are you even bothered? <laughs> it's literally like it's like an appendix, it's just not doing anything. <laughs> oh my god. Of all the issues, of all the issues we're facing right now with power and motors, and like 
there's, there's a sorter down there it's flashing because it's not connected to anything stop the press you got rid of your appendix to try to kill you appendices do that now and again Boy, it's nice having so much energy in the Mecca. Oh my god. Look at that. 1200 meters a second. You tell me, Chris. Do you want to go Ryanair or Emirates? What ticket are you paying for? All right, Ryanair it is. There's the runway. <laughs> Twelve hundred meters per second descent rate. Oof. <laughs> Speed brakes. Whoa, look at that. Oh my god, look at that view. That looks special. Now that's a sunrise. I don't believe you can change the Mecha color yet, no. It's probably on the list. Right, to make these, we need those. We've got those. We need to make these. To make these, we need cogs, those, and iron. We've got all of that. However, that's the most annoying lava fissure ever. But we can build north of it. Able to view vein reserves and planetary systems within six light years. He can now view vein reserves and planetary systems within six light years. He can freely collect resources within six light years. Nice. Those are the three things we need to make the motors. We'll have to build it on the other side of this thing. Is it as complex as Factory or not yet? It's, a, it's an early access game. Um, it's not as... Like, set, Factorio's, what, eight, nine years old? Maybe ten? It's not at that level.
Tall fights are as older. Mm, don't think so. Right, what's the ratio for this? Two iron. So we want iron on, a, on an inside belt. Oh, I don't know if that's going to work. May not like that. I think what we'll have to do, I don't think we can keep building though, we'd have to like double back and do an array that way effectively. Any game before this year is old. <laughs> if it's more than 10 years, it's retro. And then if we have an output line. have an output line that goes There's a couple of ways we could do this a bit of west to east and near the pole yeah yeah no that that makes perfect sense but I'm trying to I'm trying to keep the the belt that way and then just build factories like this. It's it's totally doable. One of the games from the 80s is vintage. <laughs> They're like the stone age of fight of computing. do for now. We can we can expand it if we need to. Really game. Really. 